Hello everyone, today we will be discussing all about the parts of the digestive system. Are you ready? Let's start. First, we have the mouth. Initial digestion of food happens in this part. Of course, the moment you put something into your mouth, digestion begins. The second is the esophagus. It is a muscular tube that brings chewed food in the stomach through muscular contractions known as peristalsis. It is also known as food tube. After you put your food into your mouth, you chew it and then it will go down into your esophagus until it came into your stomach. And always remember that esophagus is also known as food tube because next, stomach. It is a J-shaped muscular bag that stores the food and breaks it down into tiny pieces. Mixes food with gastric juices that contain enzymes to break down proteins and lipids. Hydrochloric acid in the stomach kills bacteria. When your chewed food comes into your stomach, it is the time to break it down through the help of different juices and the hydrochloric acid is in the stomach that helps to kill the bacteria. Number four is the small intestine. The small intestines are roughly seven meters long. Lining of the intestine walls has finger-like projections called villi to increase surface area. The villi are covered in microvilli which further increases surface area for absorption. Large intestine is about 1.5 meters long and also it absorbs nutrients left behind by the small intestine. The end of the large intestine is the rectum which it is a short-term storage which holds presses before it is expelled. Six. Rectum and anus. The rectum temporarily holds the fecal material, and the end part of the rectum is the anus. The anus is considered as the exit point of the feces. I hope that you learned something about digestive system. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, goodbye!